Hello everyone. Now we will start with a new topic and our new topic is what is the concept of text tables? What is the need of text table and why we are creating text tables? Firstly, the word itself is saying text. It means whenever we want to store the text, Whenever we want to maintain that text into multiple languages, we will always, always go for text table. We all know SAP is a multilingual software. And yes, text or descriptions are always, always different from one language to another. So whenever we want to store that text into multiple languages, we will always, always go for text table. It is never advisable or recommended by SAP to store the text into primary key table. In primary key table, we never, never store the text. We must have a separate text table in which we will store the text into multiple languages. Suppose I will go for simple example. Suppose there is a supermarket which has the chain in throughout the world, which has the chain in various countries. Suppose that supermarket has a chain in India, that supermarket has a chain in suppose Germany, that supermarket has a chain in Japan also. Suppose there is a product. Suppose product number is 1 and the product is T. In India, we can understand T. But in Japan, we cannot say it as T. It will be in Japanese language. Different text will be there. In German, yes, the text will be different. Product ID is 1. But we have the different, different text. So in that case, we will always, always go for text table creation. Suppose simple example, if I will show you by Excel. Suppose we have a product ID 1. One product ID, product ID is 1 only. In English language, it is called as T. In Japan, in German language, it is called as T double E. In Japanese language, it is called as OCHA. So these descriptions or these text we will store into different table. In this table, we have the product IDs. In this table, we have the description of that product ID into different languages. Because if a person is from German, he may or may not understand T. But the product ID is one. But we have different, different text into different, different languages. So we will always, always create a text table whenever we want to store the text into multiple languages. Now I will go for next point. The text table has the key fields of the primary table. And it must have an additional language field. Just now I showed you the example. And this is what is. If you are storing that text into multiple languages, it means you require a additional language field. And plus the primary key of the plus the key of the primary key of the primary table. What is the, if you see this example, what is the primary key of this table item ID? So we have item ID and plus we have the additional language field and these are the descriptions. Yes, and it is compulsory. If you are not taking the additional language field, how you can store the descriptions into multiple languages for that particular item ID? So text table always, always has the primary key of the primary table plus it has the additional language field. Now, before going for the fourth point, 
I will show you in the system everywhere whenever we have the concept of text and descriptions always always SAP follow this practice and we will go for the basic example and SAP follow there also. Suppose I will go for creation of a material and my logon language is English as of now. Suppose I will go to MM01 transaction code. Suppose this is the industry sector and I'm taking some material type. I'm pressing enter. I will go for basic data one. Suppose I will give some description. Suppose I'm saying testing. Suppose here I will write English so that you can understand fully. Suppose I am giving unit of measurement EA. My unit of measurement is EA. And I am creating this material. Suppose I am clicking on to save button. So my material 3306 is created. If I will go to Mara table, you all know the details of material stored into Mara table. So we have this Mara table. In the Mara table, we have the material number 3306. Now material number 3306, we have the industry sector pharmaceuticals, we have the material type, we have the unit of measurement. But the description if I want to check that description, as of now, we maintained in English language. Now I have to check in the text table, text table. So how I can check into text table? This is the next question. I will simply go for go to text table. Now this is the text table and you all know what is the text table for Mara? M-A-K-T. Now just see, you will get 100% clarity. In this MAKT table, we have the primary key of Mara table. What is the primary key of Mara table? Matinar. Plus we have the additional language field. If I will go to the contents, what is the material? 3306. If I will simply go for execute, you can see, we have 3306 as of now in English language and this is the text which we maintained. Suppose as of now, I only only did for the English language. Suppose if I will go for German language. Suppose I will go to this material number. I will go for suppose change because now we need to change this material. Now, as of now, I maintained that text into English language. Suppose I will maintain into German language also. So I will simply put the language DE. Suppose I am putting testing German. I will save. So now I maintained that text into two languages. Now, if I will go to our text table, if I will go to our text table, you can see this text table. In this text table, we have the description in German also. We have the description in English language also. And why I am able to store the duplicate records of a material number? Because these two are acting as primary key now. This matinar and the language are the primary key. That's why I'm able to store the duplicate records of a particular material number.